What's up guys and girls and children of all ages and welcome to the video I promised you a little bit ago and this is about something I've been doing on Insta Stories every day. If you're following me on there or have come from there because I'm going to put this video as a swipe up to the every morning updates that I give you guys on my vacuum training. Now the vacuum training is something I've been doing. I uh, started it probably about five weeks ago ish now and it is a method of training your core, training your internal core more importantly to help flatten your stomach, tighten your waist, and possibly improve your posture. Now what it entails is controlling your midsection, and what we're working is the like transverse abdominal walls. So think of it this way. Here's all the muscles on the outside of the stomach that we see, the six pack here, okay? But behind that, but, 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 but behind that, there is sheets and sheets and sheets of abdominal muscles. Ones we have to neglect, especially when we're sat at home, like slumped and lazy, not thinking about our core. By activating these internal muscles of the core, behind the six pack, which are at the moment a little bit lazy, so they're lazy, they're loose, loosey goosey. Once we start to tighten them up, so there's our little belly belly, which was side profile. Once we start to tighten them up, whoop, it pulls the stomach flat. So by activating these internal muscles, what we're doing is helping the body to maintain a flat stomach at all times, or at least give you the ability to control and feel when you're not doing that, so that you can start doing it improving your posture and stopping yourself being lazy. Now in terms of shrinking your waist, nah, well, think of it this way. If you're sat and you're relaxed and your stomach is ballooning because you're not controlling those internal muscles, then by tightening those internal muscles and pulling the stomach in, yes, we can actually create a visual reduction in the thickness or balloonness of the waist. But whenever it comes to anything to do with abs, you could do a thousand crunches a day. They're gonna have an effect underneath. If you want to see abs, we're talking about diet. But if we want to improve just the tightness of the waist, control of the core, and also strengthen all our core to helpfully improve posture, then this is a fantastic way of going about it. So I'm going to take you through my entire routine. I'm going to take you through where you need to start this, how simple it is, how quick it is, and how effective it can really be. So essentially what a vacuum is, is we're learning to draw the stomach in and up into the abdomen, up into the rib cage. And we need to do that by blowing out all the air, and then we're gonna pull those muscles in and up. What we're not looking to do is breathing. That's a big misconception. We're not doing this. So by breathing out, contracting that diaphragm, and then we're, we're forcing the muscles to have to pull in and up to create that same vacuumed look. So we breathe out, and pull in. And then as you release it, you're gonna to wanna to take a big deep breath in. Whew. So the goal of the vacuum is to hold it to start with for three to five seconds. You're gonna do it 10 times, taking around 15 to 30 seconds to get yourself recomposed between reps. And that's it, 10 times every morning to start with. And eventually if you wanna do it twice a day, you can do it. But you can do this from anywhere. You can do it in the gym after your training, before your training, at home, even driving in the car. Once you're able to hold it for three to five seconds, 10 times, you're gonna build up to eight seconds, and then finally to 10 seconds. The goal in one position is to hold it 10 times for 10 seconds. And once you can do that, then you're gonna progress through a number of stages, which I will show you now. Uh, yeah, down here. Welcome to ground zero. If you've not done this before, this is where you're gonna start. Now, some of you are gonna have a more natural ability to be able to do this than other people. It's all cool, it's all groovy, we all start at different points, but we're all heading towards the same direction. So, for those that haven't done this before, we're gonna start on hands and knees because this is the easiest way to control body posture, diaphragm, and allow yourself to be able to pull those muscles up into the abdomen and really feel what it should feel like once you're stood up. Because if you start doing this stood up and you can't do that and you don't know how it feels, you're gonna start wrong and you're gonna finish wrong. Now I do this when I get up in the morning and I do it on an empty stomach because that is the easiest time to do it. Empty stomach, it's easier to pull in. But getting it in every day is your first priority. So if you forget in the mornings, remember in the afternoon, it's fine, just do it. It's just gonna feel a little more difficult. But to start with, this is our position. Hands and knees. We're gonna make sure that we don't arch that back. I'm gonna blow out all the air in our abdomen. And then what I'm gonna do is aim to pull my stomach in and up. So it wants to go like this motion, this motion. Making sure that I'm at a nice right angle, like knees aren't too tucked in or tight. From here, just blow out. Then pull in and up. 
And it's as simple as that. But what you want to note is when you're doing this, you want to think about really pulling from the stomach in and up. What you're going to want to do, or what you're going to do naturally, you're going to kind of like hunch at the shoulders, you're probably going to tense your neck a bit, try and relax all the rest of your body and really concentrate on just making the movement from your stomach. It doesn't have to be perfect from the get-go, let's just try and get better with every rep. Try and feel every rep a little bit better than the last one. So when you're down here, if you feel your back arching, make sure that you straighten it up. Make sure that you pull your abs in a little bit just to set the posture so you're not just lazy. If you find that pushing on your hands and arching your back a little bit helps you pull in, once you've got pulled in, flatten off and leave the abs where they are so you start to know what it feels like. But if it helps, arch a little bit and then flatten out. So that's kneeling. Like I said, you want to aim to do that 10 seconds, 10 times. Once you can do that, using a table, you're going to put your elbows on the table or the desk. Same thing as before, making sure that you're kind of a nice little bit of a right angle with hips to feet. Make sure that you're not arching that lower back, blow out the air. In and up. Hold for that three to five seconds. Build up to the 10. This is gonna leave you out of breath and it's gonna should start to feel sore. Also make sure that mid rep you aren't releasing. Because what we're gonna have a tendency to do is pulling really hard at the beginning. Then as it starts to fatigue, it's gonna start slowly releasing, but you're not gonna realize it because you've got no air and you're working anaerobically, which is gonna seem difficult in itself. So constantly thinking in your head, pull, pull, pull. Keep checking yourself, keep creating these triggers that make you maintain that posture. That's gonna be key to this. And also don't try and progress too fast. It doesn't matter if you have to stay on your hands and knees for three or four weeks, because staying down there and doing it properly is gonna forever create a better benefit and progression than standing up and doing it badly. It's like anything in the gym. Once we've mastered elbows on desk or table, then what we're going to do is move to palms down with a slight more upper body angle here. As you breathe in, you'll see if you've got a mirror that you're able to watch yourself in, you'll see your abs engage a little more as you breathe out. <sighs> Should start to see at this point when you get to here, if you've had to work from your hands and feet up, that you're starting to get that nice flat kind of washboard looking, everything's staying tight, nothing bulging too much. That should start to really start becoming apparent at this stage. So palms down, you're going to breathe out. <sighs> in and up. You should feel this hurt all the way around the lower core into kind of the serratus as well. Start three to five seconds, building up to that 10 and 10. So from palms down and pulling in and up, pull in and up, and then I'm gonna walk a couple of steps forward and start just lining those hips back up with the rest of the body, and working towards that more upright hips through position. You can do this. So what I'm doing is I'm training myself to get used to that feeling of holding the vacuum in a more upright position, but I'm drawing it in, in a position where I'm stronger and more capable of doing so. From there, what the next progression stage you'd think would be just to be stood upright, but the difference between being here and completely upright, it's a chasm, it's so difficult. So the next progression point will be, once you've pulled in and up, is simply to release the hands and bring them out in front and hold them there, so like this. By elevating the elbows, it makes it a little bit easier to maintain that vacuum, but we're also able to bring our hips through and be in an upright position. It is not freaking easy though. Woo! So to show you just from a different angle, palms down. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. That's so fucking hard. I've already done these today, so. To already fatigue a little bit. Whew. So that's kind of the stage I'm at at the moment. I'm still at that kind of just almost upright, drawing in, and then being able to hold my arms out in front. I'm capable on a very good day of doing it stood upright, um, but I'm still got that progressional point to go. And there is definitely, definitely more depth I can get from the vacuum, uh, but that's just gonna take a lot of time. This is a slow process. The stage just before being completely upright is just to have your hands on your thighs, that little lean over, and then in and up. And then obviously from that stage, it's a matter of standing completely upright, maybe hands on the hips, blowing out and pulling in and up. This is as far as I can get with that stance. Whew. 
but it doesn't feel natural yet. I have to keep my hands on my hips. If I remove them, it kind of drops out and I'm very intensing a lot in my neck here. It literally, guys, is as simple as getting up each day, getting out of bed, letting yourself wake up a little bit and just going in straight to doing these. Maybe a little bit of water and that's it. Not only is it gonna help you build a better core, it's gonna help you build a better habit in the morning of waking up, being active, doing something progressive, doing something positive, and setting your day off in the right way. If you have any questions about this, hit me up in the comment section below. Make sure to watch on Insta Stories because I'll continue to show you more as I progress and little tips and tricks that I learn along the way. So other than that, I'm sorry that the videos have been taking so long to start getting in a rhythm. But as I promised you in the last video, from now this week, from this point, we're gonna get that rhythm back. There's some big moves coming in my life, uh, personally, professionally, and the new challenges that are coming my way. Remember I said I wanted to do a boxing match, a Tough Mudder, and step on stage? That all still is in the ether, ready to rock and roll. You'll just see why there was the delay put on it because it is a very fucking worthwhile reason and opportunity I got towards one of those things that makes it better for me and for you as a viewer. So that said, the new series that involves and encapsulates all of this will be beginning in November. I'm gonna keep you going until then with some more lifestyle hints, tips, tricks, and a little bit of build up as to what is coming and what you can expect and how you're gonna be able to join in, and how you're gonna be able to follow the same path. I'm hopefully gonna create some free downloads for you guys and there's some other cool shit that's gonna be going on along the way. We're getting back to that old school motherfucker that I used to love. Don't know why he went away. We got a little wrapped up in algorithms, bullshit and bollocks. But we're back, baby. We're not going anywhere. And we won't be going anywhere again in a hurry. So my crew, that is it for today. That's it for this video. Get going, start tomorrow morning, start now, whatever. Positive mindset, fucking motivational attitude. Only you can do it for you. I can give you all the hints, all the tips and everything, but at the end of the day, you've got to get the fuck up and you have to do this shit. Don't worry about what others think, don't worry about what others tell you you should be doing. Do what you fucking love, do what you like, because if that's what you do, you'll give it 100% and I guarantee success will follow when you do something that you love. I'll see you in the next video. Make sure to subscribe, like, comment. I'll catch you next on crew and I'll leave you. Boom, baby, because we're bringing that bitch back. Tell them bounce if they never seen an ounce of the rod. You need one, hit me up, I know who to call. I don't do the mall, everything custom. Shorty ass fat, yeah, she doing lunges.